Hello, my lovely Marshall Blenders. How are you? How are you? So, hey, my friend Carolyn sent me a message on one of the reels that I posted recently. And she was like, I want a step by step. And I was like, nah, because I'm just starting doing the tension rollers. I don't feel like I'm in a position. To, and then I said, stop, Marcial. My whole thing is learning and sharing. So yes, I am not the best tension roller setter personer, but I'm gonna do my best. What I am learning is that the set for me in my mind starts with the first roller that you place in the front. So yes, you can go about measuring. And what I would use to measure is not the exterior, but the interior part of the rim. Okay, so I would use that to measure, kind of give me the gauge of where to start. And something that I like to do is a type of brick lay when I do it. Because what I love about these tension rollers is the fact that once they're done, you essentially can consider yourself done with the style in the sense that they don't leave the marks, the line marks that the old school, uh, which I still do. As a matter of fact, today I had a client that I did a roller set with, with the clips, you know? So that's the one thing. The other thing I've, I'm kind of understanding is, so I did, this is, this is Bramethia. This is not Bramantha. Bramantha's hair is shorter. Bramethia is Bramantha's twin sister. Um, so I did give her a conditioning treatment. You want the hair to be wet, very wet, okay? You want the hair to be wet when you do this set. I still use the old school kind of thing that teaches you where the 90 degree angle is. And the 90, so that's what I'm gonna follow. That's how I'm gonna comb this out, all right? So once you've combed it to the place you want it to be, you put the hair. And the reason why you want it to be wet is because for some reason, wet hair will lie better on the roller for some reason it's so you know let's start this over that and that the, the tension roller so this is essentially a tension roller set right this, so this is not your regular roller set this is a tension roller set and then just roll it down easy and the first pin the first pin, you want it to actually come to the front, right? So you're gonna look, well, I look, to see where it is, and you want it to do that. Because that's gonna create that tension so that you can put in the second roller. So the second roller, I'm gonna bring it up. Again, wet the ends just to make sure. Comb it forward. Bring it up. This is the good thing about the tension roll is that it has its own kind of like mini teeth for you to be able to bring the hair into it. Let's see what's gonna happen here because of that pin. Okay. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another one, and the idea is I'm gonna try and do kind of the same thing here, where, uh, okay, so now I'm gonna do it from here like that. All right, so I rolled it, I rolled it. I'm gonna put it in through here, and try and have it go through there to be able to have it go through here, and kind of, I go a little bit, keep it there. Okay. And so now this roller is keeping this one in its place. All right. So then from there, I would go here and kind of start this areas set. Okay. So how do I show you this? Okay, I could go like that, it's okay. I'm gonna wet it. 
Okay. And so I am combing this one up as high up as possible. Okay. Now the trick with this one is you want to you want the pin to land here because that will create the tension. And so the idea is this is how I'm kind of understanding it. All right, guys. So we're sharing, we're learning together, right? So again, lay it there, lay the hair there, and commence the rollage. And roller setting is easy. You just let the roller do the job for you. All you're doing is rolling. That's all you're doing is you're literally rolling it down. And so then I'm going to try and get the pin to lay. So that's a little bit too low, too high, I mean. So that I want it to actually lay. Yeah, there you go. So the next one will be the right one. I want it to lay here so that this holds it. You see that? This holds it. Okay. Attempt. Okay, you see, but the problem with me trying to do super tense is that, let's say this was a real scalp, I would have scratched the scalp. So I don't want to scratch the scalp. I want it to actually just be able to lay there and hold its place. So there you go. That one lays there and holds its place. Position her head this way. I can still do another one here. So for this one, how would I put it? I can, again, the idea is I want it to go through here, right? I want it to go through here and go inside of one of the pins here, right? So I gotta figure out, there you go. And now here. So now this one is pinned and gripped. And now we're gonna do this one. I could have put all the hair in here, but then I feel like that would have been a clump, and I don't necessarily want the style to be a clump. Uh, you know what I mean? I want it to, to actually have its own separation. So we'll do one here, and put that through here, and have it go through here, into here, into here and that should keep it see all right so now i'm gonna come over here to this side spray the hair wet it so i did give bromethia a money piece guys i had so much fun doing it i didn't record it but um it was a lot of fun i'm kind of like just i got the i, I kind of am used to kind of measuring it but you know Always measure, always measure, just to make sure that it's gonna be enough to fit into the actual roller. Okay, so I'm gonna section this one off. Comb it up all the way. And to tone her hair, you know, if you know me, you know what I use. I like to use semi-permanent, so I'll get like a purple and a silver semi-permanent or a lavender semi-permanent sometimes to warm up the silver but to make sure that it pops as a silver I like to use a rose quartz or some type of a soft pink even a bubblegum kind of pink I'll use in the mix to give it just a beautiful different kind of silver so again we're going to go in through here and the idea is to Put it through so that it is resting here. There you go. So that gives us a good base to be able to then do the following roller. So you guys saw <laughs> you guys saw my first attempt. It was tragic-ish. I mean, did it do the job? It did the job, you know. So that's one thing I'm learning is not to be so hard on myself, but the thing is, 
um, you know, professional. You want things to be really good, right? So it, you do want to be you do want to be exacting, but you don't want to be hard on yourself. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's the idea I'm learning with me. Okay, let's see what this going on. So one thing I noticed is sometimes, let's see, I might have to just do it this way. Sometimes it doesn't go through that way, but what I'm noticing is, okay, it's pinned in, but it's not tight. So I may not be able to get it through one of the loops, and I'm just gonna have to let it do what it's gonna do naturally. So I put it in through this one and let it secure itself. So the pin actually went under this one and is now here but it's gripping it. And that's the idea, the main idea is that. So, you know, it doesn't have to be a pretty uh, pinning, because the idea is you want the hair to be pretty, not the pinning to be pretty, you know? Does that make sense? I hope it does. Okay, so then just roll, roll, roll. Take the pin, and so when you're starting this, you're gonna be like, but wait a minute, there's nothing that grips it. So how does this even make sense? Like, it just, it won't make sense, right? But it will. <laughs> Let me see. There you go. There you go. Okay. So we've gotten the front done, right? Now it's going to be for the back. Okay. So what I'll do here, because... Now is where I'm gonna try and do a bricklay kind of look. Bricklay meaning that the roller that comes behind this one is not gonna be exactly right behind it. I'm gonna divide it in the center, take a piece. And this is what I also love about using the tension rollers is that unlike the magnetic rollers, your sections don't have to be perfect because the pin is gonna do the job for you. You know what I mean? So we're combing the hair upward, combing the hair upward, right? We're combing the hair upward. Carolyn, I hope you like this one. All right, so then you take the hair in, take the hair into the roller, right? And you start the rolling. Now here, you may have layers, so you will kind of do the bringing up just to make sure that it's combing it through. And then what I do, a trick that I do is I keep my fingers on the rim to guide the hair that would be outside to stay in place. Now here, the idea is we want the pin to land here, right? So I'll put it in through here and pass it through here. No, nope. pass it through there. Yes, okay. We have placage. It's gonna lay firm, okay? Maybe I should do it like this. So you kind of just feel how the hair, how the hair or the scalp would behave, what's best, you know? Let me do this one over. This one over. It might go into here, and that's okay, no problem. And then we'll do the next one. Okay. Comb it upward. to its place and fastening it with the pin and I let it let the pin go. No. Start with a bit lower. And there you go. That's a lot better place. So 
So this one I'm just going to push into place and let it sit. So the next roller that I'm going to do is going to be going... Where would I put the next roller? Would I put it directly under these or in the center? If you said the center, absolutely. Because I want it to give me a like a natural kind of look, you know? So the bricklay, let's say I don't have the ability to blow the person's hair out or remove like what usually people do, right? They do a they do a roller set and then they blow out las ondas, right? The the the, the uh, widgets or whatever that the roller set pin left. So you don't have that with this. You don't have to worry about the roller set pin because it's not going to leave a mark there. Do. And I'm gonna post this unedited. unedited. Well, with very little editing, probably like the parts where I walk off of the camera, I will be that taking off. But the rest, you will see me as I struggle and I figure it out. But I am so proud of my abilities now compared to how, <laughs> how I was before. So I probably will be editing because I'm gonna try and see if I can put it closer so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm trying to see if it hits there. It doesn't hit this, the, to create that tension. This one actually does create the tension that I need. So I'll leave it there. Okay, now we're gonna go here. I'm gonna take the hair. Again, normally with the regular pins, we'd have to be trying to put the pins, the, the clips, on the side. What I love about the tension roller is that is not even a worry. That is not even a worry. All you are doing is giving the right amount of tension in your roller set, okay? And the pin is never really a problem. The pin is never really a problem. You're just rolling and you're using your pin to put it in its place. Okay, I like to try and use the center of the thing. Does that work? No, it doesn't. Okay, so I'll probably go one up and try and see if I can. There you go. That works. All right. Do the other side. This one here. We have two. down to those two, I will use both those. I don't know what I did with the other one, so I'm going to have to make a, a very large concession here, which it'll work. The, the other thing I love about the rollers is the fact that they are so aerated, so that means you, roll, you can do a thick roller set with one, and it will all dry because it's not like the magnetic rollers that have no open spaces or very little open spaces uh, this one has a ton of open space so the air does actually get to go through put it up here and see where it goes that's too much this one's perfect this is going to give it a good grip same thing here So 
So again, I'm learning and I'm sharing what I'm learning. You know, I'm having a lot of fun, literally a lot of fun as I'm learning. So keep going guys. Never be afraid to learn. Some people are afraid of learning because they don't want to feel like they don't know. That's okay. It's okay to not like that you don't know. That's okay. That's called being human. What's not okay is that you don't learn. That's not okay. Learn. Learn. And share what you're learning. Don't be afraid to share what you're learning. So what if somebody's going to say you think you're a know-it-all? Guess what? They know nothing if they're calling you a know-it-all. Because if they knew something, they know not to mess with you. Goodbye, my lovely Marshall Blenders. I was about to say fragrance blenders. If you're not following my fragrance channel, go follow my fragrance channel, Marshall's Blends Fragrance on YouTube and Instagram. Follow me on YouTube, please. I am at 910 subscribers on YouTube. That means only 90 away from 1K. So Marshall's Blends Hair, Marshall's Blends Fragrance. I love you guys. Ciao. Thank <laughs> you.